In this video, we will be demonstrating the conversion of a Johnson Controls M9310 direct mount actuator from a damper shaft application to a valve application. We'll be utilizing the M9310-500 conversion kit, which contains one pointer lever, one linkage, and two mounting screws. Tools required will be just a T20 Torx driver. First step is to turn the actuator over and remove the coupler. To do this, you'll pull on the release tab and then pull the coupler out. Next, we'll insert the new pointer lever. In order to align the pointer correctly, you want to line up the snaps on the pointer shaft with the flats on the inside of the actuator. Align the new lever with the flats and insert from above. Next, we'll be connecting the new linkage to the bottom of the actuator. The pointy side of the linkage will face down towards the anti-rotation slot on the actuator. After sliding the new linkage over the shaft of the kit, we'll be securing it with the two screws using the T20 Torx driver. You'll want to test that the actuator can rotate without binding. To do this, firmly press the clutch release button and rotate the actuator back and forth. And that completes the conversion. Okay. 